Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us on Ponchothon number 100. Woo! -hoo -hoo. That's right, y'all. 100. This is our 100th show. We've been doing Ponchothon now for, wow, since COVID 2020. It's, 20, it's been three years, or is it going on four years? Hey, we're still here. You're still here. Hopefully, everybody's doing fine. Yes, I have been gone for a minute. Uh, we have uh, been gone for about three weeks. I have been uh, resumed travel and I have had uh, some uh, events that have come up and some book signings that have come up. So we've been gone for about three weeks. We got uh, another week where we'll be traveling on the road and then I should be home for a minute, but we will be broadcasting through at least November, early December. So just keep tuning in. The 100th show, man. Wow. Nobody could have told me that I would have 100 shows done by now, but that's the way it works when you work cumulatively. You just keep doing it. We keep showing up. People keep showing up and we keep rolling. And I'm just glad you guys have been sticking with me. As long as you keep tuning in, I will keep coming on. So what's been going on? I have been um, traveling. So um, the first part of October, I took a group. I have an a, a, a organization called Artists to Africa. It's really a group. And Artist Africa is um, me taking artists and art collectors to Africa, different parts of Africa. So far, the two places we've traveled to has been um, Senegal and Ghana. We just recently went to Senegal. That was our second time going to Senegal. I love those two cities as introduction cities to people who've never been to Africa before, but we had a nice group on probably our most adventurous tour yet, man. We were doing ATV riding and we were doing all kinds of stuff, walking with the lions. It was really crazy. I want to thank Abdul Fall, our tour guide, new talk tour guide for Senegal, uh, for showing us a wonderful trip. We had about 12 people there and everybody was, uh, what can I say? They were up to speed, man. It was a pretty challenging trip, but everybody made it through. I think they enjoyed themselves. And I think everybody left better than uh, they they came, <laughs> which is all you can ask for. So Senegal was about 10 days. We went from October the 3rd to October 13th. And then I had a, uh, I have been working diligently on doing a commission for the uh, Black Mental Health Alliance. And so I kept that kind of quiet because news people unveilings, they don't want me to you anything until after we get the piece done. So the unveiling to that was last Wednesday. And that was what we see. If you want to see pictures from the unveiling, you can go to my website page, Larry Pancho Brown on Facebook, and you'll see some photographs from that's the piece right there or this corner. We are now packing up for another show, but this is what the final piece looked like. You know, uh, I can tell you that it, uh, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, I could not have done a piece like this. I couldn't have done a piece that spoke specifically to mental health, mental illness, um, it was nice to be able to delve in. Nobody was ready in the 80s to see a piece that dealt with that. Uh, 80s and 90s, we were about happy pieces. We were about uh, pieces that show beauty and uh, peace and tranquility and uh, reflections of some past, some church scenes, whatever. But we weren't nowhere near ready to talk about the subject of mental health or mental illness. So uh, it's been wonderful to me to be able to finally say what I couldn't say 30 years ago. This piece is entitled The Awakening. It was permissioned by the uh, the Black Mental Health Alliance, and they were um, it was well received. So that's what I've been working on. Right after that, I went to Cincinnati, and not Cincinnati, Kansas City, that's where I am all over the place, right? Kansas City, Missouri, to Impulse Art Gallery, uh, the Black Economic Union. They brought me in to do a lecture and book something. So I did that. Uh, that following Thursday, all the way up to Saturday. And now I am preparing for um, an upcoming event that's going to be happening on November 5th. There's going to be a reception. Um, I was offered the opportunity by Kabibi Ajanku at the Frederick Douglass Isaac Myers to do another solo exhibition. Um, I, I have done probably two or three there over the last decade or so. Um, so I, I just said, no, I don't want to do another solo exhibition. But what I want to do is I want to do a show that um, of my some of the artists that I've mentored. So we call this show Proteges. 
uh, that name was given to me by uh, 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 um, Supreme Shannon. I didn't think that all by myself, um, but he is one of the artists there too. This is Protégés. This is going to be happening on Sunday, November 5th. If you get a chance to come to the Frederick Douglass Isaac Myers Maritime Museum at the Herbert Berman Gallery on Sunday, November the 5th from four to six, come on down. You'll meet 20 artists that I've mentored over the years. And uh, that should be a really exciting event. I've never done anything like this before. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting a chance to give a nod to some of the people that I, I have a lot of respect for and that I'm really proud of. And so I'm getting ready for that now. That'll be happening next Sunday. I am also going to be heading to California next week too. Um, uh, my friend Charles Bibbs is having a uh, an exhibition at the Riverside Art Museum of his personal art collection, of which I think three of my pieces will be included in an exhibition. So I'm going out for the reception for that to support him uh, and spend some time with Mr. Mandela Brown, my son. Yes, I got a lot of things cooking. You know, I was sitting still most of the year, so now I'm back in the swing. But I think when I get back from California, I'll be settling down. I am even contemplating opening up studio and doing a studio event. I have not done an open house in, um, prior to COVID, really. And so I'm thinking about doing that again, too. So lots of things are happening. Lots of things are going on. Hey, y'all, do me a favor. If you're watching the show, share, 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 share with a friend, share it with, on your page, share it with uh, somebody you think that might be of like minds. Um, you know, I got a couple of ideas for some people on what to do for the 100th show. One of the ideas that stuck was to do a show of all original works. That's right, y'all, all original work. You know, when we do Pancho Thon, typically the last five to six pieces of the show are designated for showing entry-level originals. So this time we have a whole menu of original pieces. So hopefully you all can partake, take advantage, uh, see something you like, let me know. Let's go and see who's tuned in. Hey, Mr. Lizzo Marzi, thank you for checking in. How things going? We got uh, three snaps barbecue. Thank you, fantastic. Thank you for uh, recognizing our 100th show. I appreciate that. Hey, uh, uh, congratulations, to Fernando Mouse. Thank you so much, man. We are looking forward to keeping it going. Hey, Miss Kimberly McDowell, thank you so much for checking in. Look at that hairstyle. We appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, if anybody else is out there, we got people still coming in the room. And some people, you know, sometimes when you offer three weeks. We lose a few people that they got to get back in the groove. You know, we come on every Wednesday at 7 p.m. if I am not traveling. And so normally if I am traveling, I'll let you know ahead of time when I'm going to be off. I'm going to be off next week, next Wednesday, as I head to California uh, to Riverside to check out the show at the Riverside Museum. I will hopefully be posting something about that on my page in the next coming day. So if you look, just keep looking at my Facebook pages. I have a personal page and a business page. And they usually keep you up to speed on what is happening. I will also give a another shout out to uh, a good, good, good friend of mine who I am partnering with right now. Those of you that know uh, the artist Karen Wybuster, y'all know that's my right hand person. She's the person that knows all my dirt. She knows everything about me. That is my girl. She is my sister from another mister. Uh, you know, um, I've been responsible for publishing quite a few books. Uh, before I did my book, The Poncho Retrospective, I did a piece called Wondrous Works for Dr. Shield Wright, which was a book of her collection of artwork. If you don't have that book, look it up on Amazon. It is a wonderful book for somebody who is like, who don't know they have a collection yet. <laughs> it gives you a rundown on what to expect, how to get things, how to purchase things. Uh, she tells her personal story of how she got into collecting, and now she has amassed a serious collection of work both contemporary and masters. So I think it's a very uh, wonderful thing to see. Uh, but if you want to check that book out, uh, look up Wondrous Works by Dr. Sheila Wright. So Poncho Retrospective was the second book we did. And we're now working on our third, fourth, and fifth book. Our third book is by Karen Y. Buster. That's why. Right. That's my homegirl. She has been uh, on Kickstarter the last uh, 40 days raising money for her book. Um, and she's doing phenomenally well. I uh, just want to share with you so you can know what you're looking at. If you get a chance to go to kickstarter.com, just click and put the word juxtaposition in the search window. 
and you will see something that looks like this. Juxtaposition, the art of carrying wine buster. That is the title of her book. You get this chance to see her video that gives you a spiel on what she's trying to do. As you can see, she was trying to raise $10,000. Karen Wyatt Buster is currently at $16,000. The goal here is to, for her, her first goal was $10,000. Her second goal was $15,000 when she's reached. Her third goal is $20,000. And with that, she'll be able to decide whether she's going to run $1,000, uh, $1,500, or $2,000 books, where she was going to do it as a softbound when she raised $15,000. Now the book is hardbound. So you're donations, your support uh, really is you become the publisher of her book, just like you were the publisher of my book. So if you get a chance, go to kickstarter.com and go to uh, and search one will put juxtaposition in there or the word Karen Y. Buster, and this will pop up. And hey, donate. Buy one of her books ahead of time. You will be glad you did. This will be happening and her book will be going to press before the end of the year. Karen Buster is also going to be doing a, uh, a kind of a book-a-thon tonight at eight o'clock on her page. So go to Facebook to Karen Y. Buster if you want to participate and see what she has to say about the process of her book. She's very, very excited. Uh, the books that we have coming behind her is by Deborah Shedrick, and we have one by Mr. Paul Goodnight that we're also working on. We have one by Overdue Recognition. So the books are coming in. We're taking the time to tell other people's stories, and that's what I'll be spending some time in the next couple of years so hey a lot is going on that's what's been happening over the last three weeks like all condensed but i'll keep you up to speed on what's happening we're going to get ready to get this party started but letting you know what the house rules are people are still coming into them i do appreciate that first thing you want to do for those of you that are new to the show you want to place the item number and the word soul in the comments section okay uh, we are broadcasting in three locations the art of poncho on facebook and we're at Larry Puncher Brown on Facebook. We're also at The Art of Puncho Studio on Facebook. Those are three different Facebook pages. And we're on YouTube, my YouTube channel. Just look at Larry Puncho Brown, you'll find me. Boom, there it is. Those four locations. So when you uh, post, just put the word, the item number and the word sold in the comment stream underneath of the video wherever you're viewing it. That's all you got to do. And then you will inbox us your email address and shipping address. That's for people who are first timers who have never purchased from us before. If you have purchased from us before, no sweat. You're already in our system, so we'll know exactly where things are coming. Please understand that I am not psychic. So if you moved, it is your job to let me know you moved. We do have sometimes people that move around quite a bit, and we don't get uh, kept up to speed on packages and packages go to locations and they've moved. We don't like that to happen because that means we have to ship things twice and it runs the risk of damaging the items. So please take the time out and ship us your email address and shipping address uh, once you pick your selections. Also, we have a $15 shipping per package. That's right, $15 per package. Um, very seldom most of do most of our things fit in one package. Most of the time they do. Uh, unless you order two different types of items, and that would be two, this would be two different fees. But in the case like today's show, where we're showing all original pieces that would apply. So if you are a YouTube viewer, uh, just take some notes on the show, and then at the end of the show, send us that to LarryPontoBrown uh, at gmail.com. Sometimes at the end of the show on YouTube, this stream disappears. We don't get a chance to see the stream that's going with it, whereas Facebook stays posted. So if you are a YouTube viewer, and I can tell from the comment stream where you're kind of buying from, I'll remind you of that fact. Um, just make sure you send your select to Poncho Brown at gmail.com. We also accept cash at, at dollar sign the art of poncho, but remember to add the $15 shipping and handling fee because I will be looking for that. Other than that, that is all of the house rules. Uh, hopefully y'all tuning in and checking in. Hey, how's everybody doing? I know we got a couple of people back in the studio. Hey, Mr. Abdullah Fall, thank you so much, man. This gentleman right here was the tour guide for my Senegal trip. Wonderful individual, wonderful spirit. He's old enough to be my son, so that's why you see daddy. That's right. He is old enough to be my second son, but he gave us a wonderful tour of Senegal. Looking forward to seeing him and, and doing business with him again. Uh, hey, Rachel Braxton, what's happening? She was along with us on now tour. Hey, Miss Patricia Stevens, thank you so much for checking in. How are you doing? We're doing good. Hey, Miss Chandra Guy, 
Thank you for checking in. That's one of the ones that's been moving around. She's in, uh, I think she's in Georgia now. She was in Illinois. She's a mover. She's a shaker. All of y'all are doing things out there. So that's what's going on, y'all, just to keep things going. Um, I will be trying my best to um, keep you guys abreast of what's going to be happening in the next few weeks. But we're going to get ready to get this party started. That's why we still got people coming in the room. But here we go. First item is... That's right, y'all. We got a piece here, number one. This piece is entitled, now remember, this whole show, the Poncho Thon 100 show, is all original pieces. So this is why this show is important. This show is important because, you know, a lot of you have been collecting for a while. You have prints. You have uh, open edition pieces on the wall. You have some limited edition pieces on the wall. You have some figurines. You might have some three-dimensional sculptures. Uh, you might have a small G clays. You might have some sign and number G clays, um, but you may not have started entering original works into your collection yet. It normally takes somebody about a good five, six, seven years before they go, oh, that, that's a thing called original. Oh, and I can afford it. So a show like this gives you a chance to not only get a very, very good price on original, but it also gets you a very good start in adding original works to your collections. That's what the show is for. Okay, so you'll get a chance to see some of the pieces and you'll get a chance to um, have access to them. And that's such an important thing because when I do shows around the country, there's a limit to how much they can afford to ship to a show. Um, so uh, many, often you don't get a chance to see my small originals. If I set up at a, a, a festival and I got a 10 by 10 foot booth and um, I got I to gotta, I gotta hang things to sell, then it's probably going to be a chance there's not going to be that many small originals there. Whereas on this show, I get a chance to show you a better array of what I could not show in a setting like that. So all good reasons to, to pay attention to what's happening. Um, play close attention. We will probably honor these prices up to my next show, which will be um, the, the after the first week of November. So I'm going to start these off. Remember, it's about accessibility. Uh, I buy sketches and studies myself because those are really nice pieces. They're affordable. Most people are not looking at them. Imagine if I go into a 10 by 10 space of a, a popular artist like Charles Bibbs, and he's got this thing all laid out, and he's got things priced to sell. And I go into his booth, and then most of y'all will see his more colorful pieces, his more popular pieces, and y'all will go scrounge to try to get those. Whereas I would probably go in his booth and try to see where he has any sketches, small originals or uh, studies, and I snatch those because they will appreciate in price just as well as some of the larger pieces. And if I had a choice between buying a popular G Clay piece that's framed for $800 and buying a small original piece for $800, I'm going to do original piece all the time. So that's how I shop. And I'm, I'm not belittling anybody. I hope you guys understand there's a strategy to this. Uh, but it's about accessibility. So if you don't get to see small originals, they're hard to buy. Right now, galleries across the country are now beginning to sell more small originals and cater to small originals. But that's because a lot of people are beginning to mid-demand them. And so the print market has changed, but so has the original market. So that's why this show is important on our 100th show. We're going to get the party started. Item number one is a drawing. This piece is called Lost My Faith. Lost My Faith. This piece is done in graphite on paper. I have sketchbooks of various sizes from five by seven up to nine by 12. This original right here is nine by 12 inches. Lost my, these are all one of the kind, only ones on planet earth. If you like item number one, lost my faith. This piece would normally sell for $1,200 by the time I frame it all up. Today on Poncho for number 100, you can have lost my faith for, check this out y'all, 400 Dollars. That's why right, Poncho, 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 why are you selling so low? Well, there's a couple of things. When I do pieces, typically, um, I will create them. I have a pre-price in my head. They go into my journals. So they go at my journals at a particular price. And then when I'm getting ready to do my shows, by the time I factor in framing and other things and pricing them according to where the market is on my work, the prices do go up. So really the entry level point is the, the 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 most affordable point so if you come to my studio you go through my sketchbooks the prices there are going to be a lot more affordable than if you went to a gallery and saw them stuff framed so you get a chance to get works at a rate that's comparable to what a gallery would get them at 
Um, so this is a wonderful idea. That's why we're doing this to the public. So you get a chance to, uh, to really look at honing your original collection and starting to enter into that room. Because if you got uh, 15 pieces at home, you sure enough got enough room for one original. Hey, thank you guys for continuously tuning in. Hey, thank you, Miss uh, Mary Faye Claggett. She's out there. She says, I'm dropping jewels. Well, hey, you know, that's what this show's about. I'm trying to educate as we go. Item number one again is Lost My Faith. This piece normally sells for $1,200 today on Punchothon. You can have item number one for just $400. That's right, y'all. If you like that piece, just put item number one and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and add it to your collection. Item number. This piece is entitled Quiet Space. This is an experiment of mine. I've been doing a lot of things that deal with texture, uh, different types of textures like uh, fibers, uh, cardboard. Uh, it's a lot of different things. Um, embossed paper and acrylic and combining all of those things together. This is one of those pieces. This was very intimate piece. It's about five and a half by 11 inch. Normally sell for $1,200 a day on Punch Thon. You can get Quiet Space for four hundred dollars are you paying attention i hope you are item number two if you like that piece just put item number two and sold and that piece will be yours for just four hundred dollars that's right y'all we're going to keep on uh, partying and getting things going people are still coming to the room thank you so much for tuning in item number three item number three is a piece i did i think last year while i was in ghana uh, this piece is called Abandoned Traditions. Abandoned Traditions. It's a comment because I saw a lot of things where um, um, a lot of Africans are abandoning tradition. They're abandoning uh, their their their, relig their older religions, their indigenous religions, their beliefs. Um, sometimes they become a little westernized. And I can say that it's a mirror image of what we're doing in this country sometimes too. But it's just interesting to see the duality of how those things affect who we are. This piece right here is entitled Abandoned Traditions. If you like that piece, it normally would sell for $1,500 the day on Poncho Don. Uh, number 100, you can have that piece for $500. This piece right here is a mixed media piece done with ink and acrylic. And the backgrounds on these pieces were all created by my late father, Mr. Larry O. Brown. Uh, part of my therapy when he passed was to start painting on backgrounds that he had prepared. So this is one of the pieces that have that. It's kind of a collaboration, but his spirit is in this piece as well. Item number three, if you like that piece, just put item number three and sold and abandoned traditions. The original will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number four. You know, sometimes when we get back in the swing, we have technical issues with our computers. And that's probably what's going on now, but we're going to keep the party started. Thank you for being patient as we reshuffle things. Item number four. Item number four is a piece called Asan. Asan is a canvas piece. It has acrylic and ink on canvas. Uh, it's titled Asan because, you know, I have a couple of African names. Asan is one of them. And so I did this piece inspired by the young man that shared his name with me uh, on one of my first trips to Senegal. Asan, that's right. That piece right there is, uh, measures eight and a half by eight, no, it's eight by 10, and it's on stretch canvas. It normally would sell for $1,200 for the day on Poncho Thorn number 100. You can get a sign for just $100. That's right, y'all. You got some friends out there that's interested in art. You got some friends out there that's been talking about original pieces. Make sure they view this show within the next two weeks. They might find some things that are will be jewels in their collection, and we will honor these prices up till the second week of November. Item number five. Item five is a piece that is called Eye of Discernment. Eye of Discernment. This piece right here is a layered piece that has um, its pencil, different layers of pencil and acrylic paint. Um, all kinds of things are happening in here. It's like a montage of images and symbolism um, it's about truth. It's about transparency. It's about um, using good judgment is what this piece is about. This eye piece is called Eye of Discernment, item number five. It normally would sell for $1,500. It measures eight and a half by 11. If you like that piece, just put item number five and sold. And Eye of Discernment will be yours for just $500. That's right, y'all. 
We are not talking about prints on show 100. We're talking about original pieces and we're talking about entry level pieces. So this is your day if you want to get started. Item number five and sold and that piece will be coming your way. If you have any questions about any of the pieces that are being sold or previewed tonight, just go to the comment stream and put it in there. Let me know how you feel. And hey, I'm drinking some uh, Essentia water today. That's my drink. What y'all drinking out there? What y'all eating out there? I am starving. Item number five and sold. And Eye of Discernment will be coming your way. Item number six. Uh, these pieces are done like in 2014. If you see, uh, the last piece was done in that same time frame. Um, really exploring uh, graphite is probably my least favorite medium. Uh, and, uh, I, I, I prefer watercolor over pencil. I prefer drawing with an ink pen over drawing with a pencil. So because it's probably my weakest min, uh, um, um, medium, I try to work with it as much as I can. So um, everybody has a weak medium or one that doesn't excite them as much as this one of them. But if you look at these pieces, they're very intricate. Uh, this piece right here is also done uh, graphite on watercolor paper um, uh, with a little splash of acrylic. This background was also prepared by my father. If you like that piece, it's item number six is called Gene Scape. Gene Scape. Item number six. If you like that piece and you want a nice, funky, mystical piece on your wall, Item number six might be for you. Item number six and sold in Genescape will be yours normally for $1,500. It measures eight and a half by 11, but today on Punchothon 100, you can have this piece for $450. If you like that piece, just put item number six and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number seven. What's happening out there in the gallery? You are pretty quiet and they tell me what's going on. Uh, hopefully I get to see you at a couple of the events I have coming up. Uh, let me know what you're planning to come to. Let me know if you got any particular questions about anything. And uh, we'll try to keep the information flowing back and forth. I know y'all been off for a couple of weeks, so but y'all pretty quiet out there. But that's the way my crew is. Y'all out there, I see the numbers of the people that's in the audience. So uh, maybe y'all just on chill mode today. But well, we got somebody here from Senegal in the house. That's how far this broadcast is reaching. They're four hours ahead of us. So item number seven is a piece called K is four. I did a whole series of small eight by 10 um, pieces that had letters on them from A to Z. And what I envision, you know, um, you know, words, um, giving power to words was a series I did of larger pieces that had specific words in it. Some of them will be in this portfolio. But I also want to do some small pieces that had letters in them so that you can pick what that letter or how a significant word that means something to you, whether it be your name, whether it be a particular word. This piece right here is called K is four. K is four. Item number seven. Um, this is a mixture of my photography, my painting, my graphic design, all that mixed together. Item number seven is a piece called K is four. K is four is a stretch canvas that normally sells for twelve hundred dollars. It's eight by ten inches, but today on Ponchothon number one hundred, you can have this piece for just four hundred and fifty dollars. If you like this piece and you want something a little different by Larry Poncho Brown, just put item number seven and sold, and K is four will be added to your collection. Item number eight. Another piece that was done in Ghana, this piece was done uh, last year, 22. Uh, this piece right here is entitled Keeping the Culture, Keeping the Culture. Just as I did another piece called Ab Abandoned Traditions, I saw the duality of people that are fighting to keep hold of the culture. Um, and I looked at us trying to hold on to culture. So I wanted to do a piece that was, uh, a counterbalance to the other piece that I did. I did them both probably within the same time frame. Item number eight is called Keeping the Culture. It's also done with ink and acrylic paint, um, mixed media. This piece right here is on paper. This piece normally would sell for $1,500. It's size is eight and a half by 11. Uh, but today on Poncho Thun number 100, you can have Keeping the Culture for just $500. That's right, y'all, five hundred dollars this is the original show this is our 100th show if you like that piece just put item number eight and sold and that piece will be coming your way and 
added to your personal art collection. Item number nine. Item number nine is a piece that is, uh, reflects the same uh, background on paper. It's done with acrylic or watercolor, and it's also done with uh, ink. This piece is entitled Mother Earth Cries. Mother Earth Cries. That's right, y'all. Do some things that speak to the environment. This is one of those things. Item number nine. Um, this piece right here would normally sell for $1,500. The size is eight and a half by 11. For those of you that are watching the show, after the fact, these pieces will be available until the second week of November. If you play the show back and you see these works and you still are interested in them, you would just simply shoot me an email with the same instructions, the item number, the word sold, and your address. And those pieces will be um, sent your way. What we normally do is we'll send you a PayPal invoice uh, with the item's description on it. You don't necessarily have to pay through PayPal. But, you know, we have other methods you can use. That's just what we use to document our sales with. So this is item number nine. If you like that piece, just put item number nine. And so, and Mother Earth Cries will be coming your way and added to your collection. Uh, that's right, y'all. We are keeping it moving. Um, uh, Miss uh, Braxton says, stunning. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Uh, let, you know, let us know what you think about these pieces. We did went to the portfolios and uh, pulled out some of these pieces. You know, I just recently did a small original show at Davenport's Imports and Arts here in Maryland where I showed 24 pieces that are within the same size range, um, which I think is really, really nice size. They normally frame up to like a 16 by 20, they look very, very nice in frames. Um, but these are very, very nice entry level originals. And uh, we've been doing very, very well the last couple of years of producing them, item number nine. If you like that piece, just put number nine and the word sold. Again, it normally sells for $1,500, but today on Poncho Thon number 100, you can have this piece for just $500. Item number 10. Hey, Poncho, do you do abstracts? People ask me that every now and then. It's not something that I am the regular, but I'm going to be devoting more time to creating abstracts in the next decade. Um, it's just something I'm interested in. You know, I'm trying to loosen up. I'm trying to do things that are a little bit different. I'm trying to revisit some things I used to like to do that I stopped doing, trying to feed the market. Sometimes when you're feeding the market, you end up doing certain types of pieces to satisfy that demand, and you don't give yourself a chance to spread out, and do some other things that appease you. So that's what's going on with me right now at this stage. I think when I completed my book, uh, The Poncho Retrospective, it was of my printed work. So that's 300 something images in that particular book of books that were published. And uh, I, I, I'm looking to do a second book on just original works. And these are the kind of works that you would not generally get a chance to see if I'm traveling on the road. Item number 10 is called Weight of the World. Weight of the World. This piece right here is um, it's collage. It's done in several different types of paper. I love work with moray patterns. That's what you see in the background. I love um, dropping alcohol in the paint and letting it do its own natural thing. Um, I really uh, enjoy that. Um, anything that has to do with textural uh, areas and pieces. Uh, this piece right here measures eight and a half by 11. Um, it normally would sell for $1,200, but today on Poncho Thon number 100, you can have this piece, Weight of the World, for just $500. If you like this piece, just put item number 10 and sold and weight of the world will be coming your way and added to your collection and you will have something that not many people have item 10 and sold and that piece will be coming your way item number 11. this whole series is part of some new work that i started doing on the last couple of years and trying again to use fibers and uh, embossed paper and acrylic medium and found objects and a whole bunch of cardboard and and started making these spiritual faces. One thing I love and intrigued by uh, in African art is how they make um, African sculptures in, in different masks. And, um, and when you go to the more upscale galleries, you see more abstracted faces. So these are uh, really my abstracted faces done on, with paper. They, they, they have some dimension to them. There's enough dimension where they can be framed. 
This one is called Camiso. Camiso, this is number 11. Um, I like creating different types of areas. Like, you know, that was a fun piece to do. And we actually published this piece large. It looks really, really great. But this is item number 11. This is the original. It normally would sell for $1,500. It measures nine and a half by 12 inches. Today on Ponchothon number 100, you can have Camiso for just, whoo, six hundred dollars we have a whole series there of these pieces probably consisting of about 10 different paintings item number 11 if you like that piece just put item number 11 and sold and comiso will be coming your way item number 12. another piece of series is called suro suro that's why right, miss bro this piece right here is nine by twelve. Also, it measures fifty. It, it, it's it's uh, normally priced at fifteen hundred dollars. But Sora is part of that whole uh, spiritual face series. It's made with all kinds of uh, found objects and embossed paper and wallpaper and corrugated cardboard. And uh, uh, I, I I sometimes work with um, acrylic medium and I'll, I'll I'll paint it on a piece of paper and then cut it up with scissors and. Uh, it's just got all kinds of, it was a nice expression for me. I like doing these because I get a chance to completely get outside of my head. Uh, but but it's just interesting to me how each one of them have their own character. This is item number 12. This is Masoro. It normally sells for $1,500 in measures 9 by 12, but today on Poncho Thon number 100, that's right, I said it, 100. You can have this piece for just $600. If you like that piece, just put item number 12. And that piece will be added to your collection. Item number 13. As you can see, I, this whole style has been developing. I haven't done any large canvas pieces in particular style yet. I think the largest one I've done, it may be 16 by 20. But my aspiration is to do these pieces as large as 30 by 40. Um, it's just a matter of me finding textures that are that side. This has dried leaves in it. It has uh, fibers in it. It has embossed paper. It has wallpaper. Uh, it has acrylic medium, and it's all combined together to form this image. And then I go in and I cut the this, this, the, the uh, figure in there, and uh, and I develop what I'm trying to say. This was entitled "Guiding Light." The guiding light. This one would normally sell for $1,800. It is uh, 14 by 11 inches on, uh, this is on wood panel, masonite panel. Um, very, very unique piece by me. Item number 13, if you like that piece, The Guiding Light. It normally sells for $1,800 today. On Poncho Thon number 100, you can have item number 13 for just $600. This is The Guiding Light, if you like that piece. And you want to add that to your collection. Just put item number 13 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. That's right, y'all. We got a whole lot of things going on. This is our original show. You know, we've been showing you originals back and forth. We've been showing you all kinds of things that's been happening. But that's what's been going on. That's what we're trying to do. That's what our goal is. And we're always trying to uh, keep you engaged and um, uh, motivating you to buy and invest in Black art. <music> What do you collect? Well, I have a small collection of pieces. Well, I can't say it's small because I own literally about 400 small originals by different artists. This is just a cross section of a few of those pieces. And this is my art collection if you want to take a peek and a gander. <music>
item number 14. That's a sneak peek of my personal art collection. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I and I would love to see your collection. I would like to do a show where people get a chance to share some of their pieces. Um, item number 14, to get back to the show, is a piece called Mama Sunrise. This is our 100th show. We have decided to do an all originals edition. We've never done an all originals edition on the show before. This is our first time. These prices on these on this particular show will be good until the second week in November. That's right, the second week in November. So if you uh, will need a little more time to decide on a piece, just uh, keep track of the show, and you can always get back to us on um, making sure you secure a piece if you see something that like the number fourteen for Mama Sunrise. Mama Sunrise is that same textural thing. I'm, I'm enjoying that. Can't wait to see these larger. I haven't done much painting in 2023. As you know, I was um, dealing with some health challenges the first part of the year, which had me really pretty much kind of slowed down until July. But as the end of the year comes, we're going to be uh, resuming. I did one piece this year uh, for that commission and we'll be trying to get my momentum back as we get into the year. This is the first year I've had well, where I've been slowed down that way, but item number 14 is called Mama Sunrise. Mama Sunrise, known as self, $1,800. She is done on um, a masonite panel. This is also mixed media. It's got uh, fibers, it's got embossed paper, it's got a little bit of everything in it. It's done with acrylic. Uh, item number 14, again, normally would sell for about $1,800. Today on Poncho Fun, number 100. Did you hear what I just said? Show 100. You can have this piece, item number 14, for just $600. If you like that piece and you want to add a significant piece to your art collection, just put item number 14 and sold. And this piece right here will be added to your art collection. Item number 15. This piece is a little larger than uh, the last piece I showed. This one is like 14 by 20 inches. It would normally sell for $1,900. It's called born to protest born to protest same style same texture exploration i've been doing um this is done on the masonite as well mixed media on masonite uh, using a palette that i don't normally use uh, but that's kind of what i was shooting for um i know the liberation colors i wanted to do that without actually using the liberation colors uh, but that's what i came up with born to protest this piece would normally sell for $1,900 and measures 14 by 20 inches. But today on Poncho Fire, number 100. Did you hear what I said? I said 100. Our 100 show. That's right, y'all. Just put item number 15 and sold. And this piece, born to protest, will be yours for just $700. Did you hear that ratio? $700 and it's worth $1,900. That's right. Go home. Do your math. Figure out what you want to do. Because these pieces will be available for the next two weeks. Item number 15, if you like that piece, you want to add something to your uh, repertoire that deals a little bit with the revolution. This is one of those pieces. Item number 15, and sold and born to protest will be coming your way and added to your collection. Hey, what's happening in the gallery out there? Y'all are real quiet today. I don't mind quiet. Quiet is cool. That means everybody's chilling. Um, I'm hungry. And one of y'all out there is, is cooking something that I would love to taste. Um, it's like almost 8 o'clock here, and I'm, I'm trying to do a cleanse. So I'm trying to trying to eat halfway decent this next couple of weeks. But I'm, I got a hankering. What are y'all eating out there? Because y'all got to be eating something. Y'all so quiet out there. Y'all either eating something or drinking something. Y'all ain't telling me what's going on. Let me know what's happening, y'all. Item number 16. Hey, this is a bad piece right here and the reason why it's a bad piece it's not that i'm gloating it's just that i haven't done a pastel piece in several decades this probably was the last all pastel piece that i created this piece right here is titled together forever together forever it measures 19 by 24 inches it is entirely done in pastel for a long time pastel was my medium a lot of people didn't know that um, a lot of my earlier pieces were done in pastels, especially my college pieces were done in pastel. Most of my college pieces were done in pastel and charcoal. It is something I want to um, to kind of go back to and revisit. But this piece is called Together Forever. It retails for two thousand dollars. 
two thousand dollars you would be the only person to have a piece like this this is my last all pastel piece that i did on paper this piece uh normally was sell for two thousand dollars but today on poncho thon number 100 you can have together forever for just one thousand dollars hey if you're watching the show and you're trying to figure out which piece is the right one for you and you go through this whole menu of 25 pieces this one should stand out because it is very very unique out of the pieces that i've shown you uh i can't remember what year this was done in but i would imagine this was like early 2006 2005 something like that uh but if you like this piece just put item number 16 and hold and together forever will be coming your way and added to your collection that's right y'all that's what's going on we got pieces coming from all parts of my portfolio we got to keep you looking got to keep you watching i got pieces that y'all haven't seen before y'all think y'all seen my work but y'all really haven't seen everything that i have to offer <laughs> You know what we're trying to do here? We're trying to promote uh, African-American art. And uh, we really like the idea that we are contributing to more and more people getting involved in African-American art. Because that's what it's all about, y'all. Item number 17, y'all, is um, this piece right here is a repose. Repose is when you take metal, aluminum, copper, and you put a metal tool and you, you, you carve into it or etch it. Sometimes the tools are sharp. Most of the time they're sharp. Sometimes they're heavy. Uh, the metal can be different thicknesses. Um, this particular gauge is, is thin enough for me to carve by hand without using any heavy tools. Uh, but I did a whole series of pieces in this particular media, all of which are sold. This one right here only hasn't been sold because it has not been framed. Uh, this one is done with aluminum and acrylic, the, the brown inset you see. Y'all remember back when we were in kindergarten and the teacher bought out the aluminum foil. And let us uh, uh, take some cardboard to put underneath of it and etch something in it. And then we took some tempera paint that got all over your clothes in black. And then you put the tempera paint on top of the aluminum foil. And then they they pulled it off. And that's that. This is just a more cleaned up, sophisticated adult version of that technique. This piece right here, item number 17, is called What Manifestations. What Manifestations is the title of this piece. She measures 12 by 14 inches, 12 by 14 inches. She would normally sell for $1,800, but on Panchothon number 100, well, Manifestations is only selling for $600. If you look for something that's totally unique, I've got two pieces on the show that are very different from everything that I've ever done, and this is one of them, item number 17. If you like this piece, well, Manifestations, just put item number 17 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Hey, y'all, I asked what y'all was doing out there, what y'all was eating, what y'all was drinking, because y'all are real quiet out there for a Wednesday. Um, we got one comment from Karen Bust. She says, 100 episode. That's right, the notorious KYB. Shaking my damn head. That's right, because we keep it moving, y'all. We keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving, too. That's right, y'all. And all 100 of those shows, if you just need to see something different one day, go to YouTube. I think at least half of them. Uh, on YouTube. That's right, on our YouTube channel. Item number 17. Again, if you like that piece, just put item number 17 and sold. And um, that piece will be coming your way. Look, we got a comment here. I hate people like this. He says, I have oxtails cooking in the crock pot here. Can't wait until they're done. Ah! Told the man I was cleansing. And he's talking about oxtails. You're going to have me sitting in a parking lot somewhere tonight steaming up my windows, trying to get some oxtails down. Whoo, man, well, I'm envious, Mr. Lyle Marzi, uh, that you are cooking some oxtails. I am so jealous. What else are y'all eating out there? I had somebody from Three Snaps Barbecue. What is that all about? What is Three Snaps? Three Snaps still watching? Tell me what you fixed, man. What, what, what you got? What y'all eating out there? 
um, y'all got me curious now because y'all real quiet at the night. Now that I see why he's so quiet, he got octaves. Ah, ah, who the pain, the pain item number 17, y'all again. Um, is uh, what manifestations that piece will be coming with? Man, got me all messed up. I can't even do the show right. <laughs> item number 18 is a piece called Lead by Example. Lead by Example, it could be Lead by Example. Or it could be led by example. I was I was having that dialogue with myself when I painted this piece. Do I want to do lead by example from one perspective or led by example on one perspective? I think led ended up winning the battle. Uh, but item number 18, this is my, uh, you know, I, I could do some things as impressionism, expressionism, and a little bit of uh, undefined paint strokes. And that around her neck is actually dried acrylic paint that I... Uh, formed and cut and glued on for texture. That's right. We try to do something a little different to keep things going. You know, I always do these artist quarantines where we experiment with different things. I love doing those because I come up with new techniques. And um, when I'm doing it for other artists, we share techniques too. Item number 18. This was done with one of our quarantines. Led by example, this piece normally would sell for $1,800. It's 16 by 20 inches done on canvas board. Uh, today on Pancho Thon number 100, you can have led by example for $500. Did y'all hear what I just said? Y'all not paying attention. Y'all going to have to rewind this show next week when we're gone to see what's going on. These prices will be available for two weeks. And if you see something you like, you can snag it. Item number 18 is led by example. If you like that piece, just put item number 18. And so, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 19. That's right. This piece right here was one of my calendar pieces. It was a, a cover, front cover of one of my calendars. It was also a subject for my paint party classes that we used to give a couple of years back. Uh, of course, it did not have this detail in it. All the detail in the black area was not there for the paint party, uh, but the other area was. So that's mostly what they had to focus on was doing the uh, the water scene, the sun and the clouds and blue. And then uh, that whole area where the black faces are was just solid black with stars in it. So um, sometimes I take my paint party pieces and put them on steroids. This is an example of that. Item number 19, lucky 19. This one is entitled Day Gives Way Tonight. Day Gives Way Tonight. If you like that piece and you want to add something to your collection with a little pop to it that looks a little different than my portfolio. This piece right here would normally sell for $2,000. That's right, $2,000. It measures 16 by 20 inches today on Pancho Thon number 100. You can have this piece and own it for $950. If you like that piece, just put item number 19 and sold, and this piece will be added to your collection. Hey, y'all, what y'all eating out there? Because I'm hungry. I don't know, man. I don't need to be looking for no oxtails tonight. Y'all got to... Mm. He messed me up a little bit with that one, but I guess I got to get over it. Item number 20. I was with Charles Bibbs and we were doing some spontaneous pieces. He had these big uh, Japanese brushes. And we had toner ink, G clay toner ink in cartridges that somebody had thrown out. So he had this cyan, had the yellow, had the magenta. And we just took those things, opened them up, took the Japanese brushes, put in there, and we just did some spontaneous pieces. They turned out really, really nice. This piece right here measures about 22 by 30 inches. And I had three of them. I think it might be the last one that I have of that series. What's so cool about the transparent ink is that when you put um, the cyan over yellow, you get the red. When you put the red uh, and the green over, they mix. So the colors that you see are actually the colors as they overlay on top of each other. Um, so this this whole series is called Masquerade. This is Masquerade number three. There's two other pieces in that series, both of which they have been sold. Um, this is an experiment. This is something that was just funky. Me just sitting there doing something very, very spontaneous. Wherever the brush hit the paper is what happened. I love doing spontaneous pieces like that. Item number 20. And nobody's going to have anything like this in their collection except for Charles Bibbs. 
I think Charles might have a couple pieces that we did on the side. He kept them and didn't let me know he got them. I got some pieces of his with crayon and watercolor that he doesn't know I had. That's the way we work. Artists work together. We should, we, we kind of have fun, and but we forget what we share with each other. Item number 20. Here's a piece called Masquerade. If you like that piece, just put item number 20 and sold. And Masquerade is mixed media. It is in ink, toner ink on paper. Normally it will sell for $2,500, but today you can have this piece for $950 on Poncho Thigh number 100. This piece measures 22 by 30 inches. Item number 20 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your personal art collection. Item number 21. Woohoo! We are moving through. That's what this piece here is part of a liberation series I did. Hey, Poncho, why does she have any head? Why does she have? Well, you know, Venus and Milo didn't have a head. So I, and then I have seen a bunch of, of African sculptures that are of torsos. Okay. Who's to say that the Venus de Milo didn't come from something they copied from Africa? That's the way art was done back in the day. We're just now turning up and finding out what inspired what. This is Poncho's spin on those torsos. This piece right here is entitled In Her Twine. In Her Twine is a spelling and a play on words in a twine. Uh, this piece right here is done in mixed media. It's actually got like a silk screen background and then it's got ink on top of it. This piece is on paper. It's 22 by 30 inches. It normally would sell for $2,500. This piece really has not been seen in public much. It, it normally would be held at my studio. I have a lot of pieces at the studio that people have not seen. Hopefully, we will get a chance to show more of those works when we do our open house next month, which I will announce on my Facebook page shortly. We haven't come up with a date yet, but we're working on it. Item number 21 is called Intertwine. If you like that piece, just put item number 21 and sold. And intertwine can be yours for nine hundred and fifty dollars. If you not take, keep taking notes, y'all. Uh, that piece would be yours. Just put item number twenty one and sold. That piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number twenty two. As we roll through our twenty five piece menu, uh, this piece right here is entitled "In Your Favorite Chair." In your favorite chair. Let your imagination go where it's going to go. In your favorite chair. Um, you know, I love purple and blues. I, I tried to use all those comforting colors in this particular piece. Um, yeah, I tried to pull out my, my, my Picasso side where I just did something very, very loose and uh, exaggerated forms. And this is what I came up with. I did a whole series of these pieces. Most of them are sold. This is probably the last one of the series. The only reason why this has been held back, or that I should say is not sold, is because it's been held back. I number 22. In your favorite chair, it measures 22 by 30 inches. This is acrylic on heavy grade watercolor paper. It also has some oil pastel, the black lines in it. Uh, this piece would normally sell for $2,500 today on Poncho Thorn number 100. You can have this piece for just woo, $1,100. That's right. The only one on planet Earth. If you like this piece, just put item number 22 and sold. And this piece in your favorite chair will be yours for just $1,100. That's right. Item number 21. I'm 23. I'm sorry. I showed you the piece earlier that had those pieces that had the letters in them, but this is the larger versions of those pieces that actually have words. This was entitled Soul. This is a mixture of my photography, my graphic design, and my painting all in one. These pieces right here are large, stunning pieces. They measure 22 by 30 inches. I have a couple of them out in uh, exhibition right now in a couple of galleries. Um, these make very, very nice, powerful pieces. Did a whole series of about 12 of these pieces. This one is entitled Soul. Uh, this piece measures 22 by 30 inches. It normally would sell for $2,500. But today on Poncho Thon 100, you can have Soul for just $1,000. If you like this piece, just put item number 23 and sold and soul will be coming your way and added to your collection item number 24. that's right y'all we get to the end of the run we're at item number 24 this is a piece that's on that same series called focus that's right focus 
you know, whenever you use bright colors and you got black faces, it's going to be powerful. Can you imagine two or three of these next to each other? Woo! That's what I'm talking about. They're very, um, they pull you in. They make you think. They make you shut down and just kind of get into uh, the figure and get into the emotion that's happening in that piece. This piece is entitled Focus. I think it's an important word for men in the black community, especially young men. I don't know, 24. Um, hey, Speak power to words is what this whole series is all about. Item number 24 normally will sell for $2,500. It measures 22 by 30 inches. But you can have this piece today on Punchathon number 100 for just $1,000. Forget that piece. Just put item number 24 and sold. And this piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 24. Five, our last piece on the menu. I described that piece masquerade a little earlier on with me and Charles Biz when we we're doing some pieces that were done with Japanese brushes and um, G clay toner. This is another piece that was done that way. The only thing that's different about this piece is that I use charcoal where you see black. And so she's a mixed media piece. It's called Papillon. Papillon is a little butterfly kind of uh, figure in there. This piece is huge. It's 25 by 49 inches. That's right. If you want something that's a little different and it's got a little size, this might be the piece for you. This piece right here, again, is entitled Papillon. Item number 25. If you like that piece and you want to add something funky to your collection, this might be a starting point for you. Item number 25 and sold and Papillon will be coming your way and added to your collection. That's right, y'all. That is our full menu on show number 100. We will be coming back at you soon. Uh, we will be off next week as I head to Riverside, California to support my brother Charles Biz in the opening of this show. I hope you appreciate what we did today on show number 100. We'll probably do some more like that. I've been threatening to do an all original show for quite some time now. And it's nice to finally get one under my belt. Uh, for those of you that have been watching, uh, send me some comments so I can know whether it was up to speed, whether you, what you expected. If you see something you'd like to see me show in the next coming weeks, let me know uh, as we will be trying to get another set of menus together for you to go through November and into December. Uh, remember that uh, once this show's over, as a matter of fact, Karen Buster's show probably just started. So if you want to tune in, go to Karen Buster's page and support her. She is uh, trying to raise money for having her book printed. She's doing very, very well. I'll show this to you again. Uh, go to Kickstarter. Um, when you get a chance, kickstarter.com is a crowdfunding campaign site. Basically, you post a, a project and your friends support you. Um, if you look, there are gifts on the side, which we call pledge rewards. And so what you would do is you go in. If you see something you like, you pick a pledge, pledge reward. Her book is one of the pledge rewards, so it's a great thing to select if you don't select anything else. But she's got some really, really good incentives. They take time to look at each of those pledge rewards. We're trying to drive her to $20,000 in the next seven days, and I'm sure she's going to make that goal because we've got a lot of sensitized people that are trying to help, and we've done great. She's done great so far. She's smashed her $10,000 goal. She smashed her $15,000 goal. And her next goal will be happening in the next seven days. And I know she can do it. So when you leave my show, you can go to her show, tune in just to see how we do some things. And uh, if you weren't supporting by her book, that's what I'm talking about. If we don't communicate one another and share opportunities with everybody, what are we actually doing? This is a powerful medium and we get to control this medium any way we want to. Uh, so we hope that you guys will stay steady, stay current, stay present and support each other. I want to thank you again for tuning in. Uh, this show has been uh, a blast. I, I, again, I'm glad I got a chance to do uh, an original show. Hey, Charlotte Vincent, she says she loves number 20. Thinking about it, that's how you got some time. You got two weeks, two weeks to make your decision, Miss Charlotte Vincent. I think you're the person that gave me the idea to do this show. So I appreciate you. Thank you for your, your words and your support. Uh, we will be looking out for that if that's what you decided to do. Other than that, y'all, you know I love you. I'm going to be back, not next week, but the week after with another menu of 25 pieces. And we hope that you'll be tuning in. Tell your friends we're going to be shopping straight through Christmas. So I appreciate you tuning in. 
until next time, y'all, I love you. Take care of yourselves and take care of some other people too because everybody out there needs a little bit of love right now. Until then, y'all, y'all take care.